So the rumors are not true about Canadians. They are not actually polite. They are extremely passive aggressive. Canadians ruined my life. They gave me this body that you see before you right here. See all you saw. I had two babies. The plan was only to have one baby, um, but I met this beautiful Canadian man and how he convinced me to have our second child. He looked at me in the eyes and he said, you know, dear, we would have the most beautiful child in the world. And I said, yes, yes, we would. I agree with you. And I had to manifest this beautiful being. I know the exact date, the exact time, the phase of the moon. I know what I was drinking that night. Rum and Cokes, Subway Sandwich. His middle name is Rex, named after uh, the jazz uh, blues bar in Toronto. If you ever go there, it's a cool place. Uh, we had some really good sex that night. It was the one night I brought five kinds of birth control, people. Five kinds. And it was the one night that we did not use any birth control at all. So that's how I know exactly when we made this baby. And that is why I am only down here once a year now to perform comedy for you guys. And I'm, I'm just glad that they let me back into the country. I was a little bit worried about that. I, you know, um, I'm actually more worried that they won't let me back in. I would love to stay here, but honestly, I'm frightened for you guys. <laughs> yes, it's because of Trump. Yes, let's hope this is topical. Let's hope this is very topical. And that it goes, it, that it, the giant orange monster from hell, goes away. Oh, what a nightmare, you guys. Um, you know, honestly, that's all Canadians talk about, is how foolish Americans are. Uh, it's not, it's, and I, I keep trying to explain to them, not everyone's like me. Not, I, I'm a bad example of what an American is like. Um, okay, so things I love about Chicago. The alcohol down here is so cheap. It is so cheap. Um, you can, you, you can, you guys, do you know that the same $10 gallon of vodka that you get at Jewel costs $30? In Canada it's not fair it's ridiculous it's outrageous um, I, I it kind of makes me want to visit here more often and just like just commit to being a raging alcoholic but I do have children and for Father's Day this year I left my three-year-old in Canada with his dad as a gift <laughs> uh, no returns on that one no returns on that one dad um, so I love to eat Food is my absolute favorite thing in the world. And so when I come to Chicago, I like to eat wonderful things. And today, we took a three hour drive to uh, find this burrito place. And uh, it's, maybe it's worth it, I don't know. The burrito was delicious, but it turns out, it turns out I'm getting old and I can no longer eat jalapenos because they act like a laxative now. <laughs> a super red hot spicy laxative. <laughs> And I'm just lucky that I'm able to do this set for you guys without having to <laughs> Because this was earlier today. And um, yeah, I, I, I have wrecked uh, several bathrooms today in the city, around the city. You know, don't go to the Starbucks down the street. Don't, don't go there. Um, the, the first woman's bathroom, don't go there. There is a spray. There's, there's refreshing spray in there. And I use that. And now it smells like flowers and poop. So um, sorry about that, guys. Uh, <laughs> Another thing I cannot eat anymore is donuts. I ate, uh, I ate 12 donuts one time. Uh, they're so good though, you guys. Country donuts, I don't know if you guys have ever tried these. They're the best donuts in Chicagoland. There's one in Elgin, uh, Spunky Dunkers uh, has the same kind. Spunky Dunkers fans over here. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. So I had 12 of them and I gave myself a yeast infection. <laughs> And it smelled, it smelled delicious, but my husband was so disappointed to find out that we were not baking cinnamon rolls. And he was even more disappointed at the creamy filling. I am so thrilled and I'm so honored to be on this stage. Chicago is one of my favorite cities in the world. Uh, I, have, I have 
so many reasons to come back here, including a seven-year-old boy who uh, lives with his dad. And uh, I'm sorry, son, if you see the YouTube clip. I, I, I did not mean to abandon you. I'm sorry that your dad voted for Trump. I hope everything works out. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me.